The partial reactor core meltdown at the Three Mile Island nuclear plant brought international attention to the dangers of nuclear power and added new credibility and urgency to the anti-nuclear movement. Six weeks after the accident, over 40,000 people from all over California attended the Abalone Alliance rally near San Luis Obispo, the largest in U.S. history directed at a nuclear facility. Among the speakers at the rally was California Governor Jerry Brown, who officially became a legal intervener to oppose the licensing of Diablo. Just invited to join your effort to deny the license to Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant. I not only call upon the NRC to deny the license, but serve notice that I personally intend to pursue every avenue of appeal if the NRC ignores the will of this community. He did it. <laughs> Governor Brown said no. He said no. <laughs> A lot of us want to do an action at the gates of Diablo as families. Some of us want to commit civil disobedience, and we are trying to figure out how to do that as family units, um, and how we can most effectively say to the NRC that we as people who live here in this community don't want Diablo to open because we think that it, we really believe that it's very unsafe for us. I'm sure all of you have seen the poster that says, what do you do in case of a nuclear accident? Kiss your children goodbye. Oh, excuse me while I cry a moment. <laughs> uh, I don't like the thought of kissing my children goodbye. Um, so, but what we thought we could do as a group to show that we are concerned is to line up at the gates of Diablo as families. And whoever in the group, in the, in the family, chooses to get arrested would uh, line up with their families and with their children and bend over and kiss their children goodbye and walk in and be arrested one by one. My uh, daughter Julia uh, has been involved in the action since the 14th of January since it started and when she started I don't think she knew the extent to which she would become involved in it um, and how much it would affect her. Her affinity group is called the New Generation. I think it's a great name. They're the ones who are, who are going to have to accept the legacy of this thing if it opens. A few of us have been into it before writing letters and stuff like that. We decided that it's we're pretty much down to the line now whether Diablo is going to be opened or not. And we're all willing to, you know, take the risk of being arrested one or more times in order to keep this plant closed and so that we don't have to live here with it. I feel a little bit apprehensive. I'm really nervous right now, but last time I got arrested, I was really nervous. I'm just not sure what's going to happen to us this time, and I'm a little bit scared. You will be arrested. I feel that Diablo is a senseless waste of time and money, and it will never go online if we can help it. I hope that I'm an inspiration to some other people to say what they believe and to stop nuclear power. I'm really afraid of this power plant. It's got too many faults. It's radioactive. Once they start it up, there'll always be that low level of radiation coming out of there that will affect my life and will probably affect my children's lives. Yeah.